Good morning, everybody. So today is the first morning that I really feel feels like fall. It's about 60 degrees outside in New York. Um, I don't really know how hot it's going to be today. I just know I let the dogs out and it feels like fall. So because I'm hashtag basic, <laughs> I'm going to be making a pumpkin spice latte. I did see where Starbucks is going to be having these come out about a week early this year. So for all you pumpkin spice fans, try to avoid the Starbucks version that is super, super sweet. Lots of carbs, lots of sugar. So what you need to make my version of this is an unsweetened nut milk. I'm actually using cashew unsweetened vanilla. Uh, it's only 25 calories per serving. I'm going to be using about a fourth of a cup of my nut milk. I'm going to be using about a tablespoon of my coconut oil just to get some MCTs in there. And hello, Miss Eiley. Thank you for helping today. <laughs> um, so uh, you're also going to be using about a tablespoon of a pumpkin puree. You can use any kind of pumpkin spice. Um, you know, any kind of spice that you really like in this. Uh, I'm going to grab some cinnamon as well as I'm going to be using a gingerbread cookie just to give it a little bit of that spiciness. You'll need some vanilla extract, uh, a little bit of uh, Himalayan salt or sea salt. You'll need about a tablespoon of butter as well as any kind of coffee you want to use. I'm using our Wegmans Colombian K-Cup. I'll make about 10 ounces of this. And then, of course, you can sweeten it to taste. I use the Better Stevia um, Liquid Sweetener Organic Drops. It is not required to have this if you are trying to get off of sweeteners um, you know, to help with ketosis, then you can omit this. This is really just for your personal flavoring. So we'll go ahead and get started. You'll need, of course, a pan, uh, a coffee maker to make your coffee, a cup. A lot of people use heavy cream instead of a nut milk. That is 100% okay as well. That's how you're going to get some added fats in there. If I had heavy cream, I would likely be using heavy cream myself. Um, I also, if I had heavy cream, but I haven't got to the grocery store this, <laughs> this week yet, um, I would be making my own whipped cream for the top of that. All I do is I put a little bit of swerve with heavy cream and a little splash of vanilla extract and then I beat it until it is whipped. Um, I normally place that on top of my coffees. So that is a little extra. We will go ahead and get started. I will brew my 10 cups of coffee and I will be putting all of the other ingredients inside of this um, pot and going ahead and heating it slightly. Okay, so we have all of the extra ingredients inside of our pot. And excuse me, guys, I'm lo losing my voice just slightly, so I apologize. And I'm digging for my cinnamon now, just because I didn't have that out before. Uh, I am only going to add just a small bit of cinnamon, just because cinnamon does have a really strong flavor, and I don't want the cinnamon to overtake the pumpkin. Um, as you can see, I have a about a tablespoon of coconut oil. I have about a tablespoon also of the co pure co uh, excuse me pumpkin puree. There we go. I can speak. Uh, all my sauces are in here. My butter as well as my nut milk. And I'm just going to slightly heat this. I do not want this to come to a boil. I just want it to heat enough to where it all mixes together nicely. Okay, so once you get all your ingredients really warm and hot together, this is about what it's going to look like. Um, because you're using the coconut oil, or you can even substitute the coconut oil with your MCT oil, you will have a little bit of oiliness to this. You really just want everything to mix well together. Um, you can either, at this point, put this mixture with your coffee into a blender and try and get it really frothy and blendy. Um, or, to be honest, you can just jump, dump them into each other and mix. It really depends on your personal preference of how well you like things mixed together. I'm going to be putting all of this into my Ninja and just giving it a quick whirl before I put it back into the coffee cup and drink it. Okay, so now that I have everything, I actually said Ninja, but I decided to use my Nutribullet just so that you guys can see this 
uh, top part blending. Um, I do want to note, some people do like to put some bourbon cream. <laughs> if you're one of my people that's from Kentucky, woohoo, go be blue. Um, <laughs> you're probably going to want to add some bourbon cream to this just because you really like bourbon and you want some bourbon cream. Um, I did not add that to mine, just so you guys know. So when I show you the My Fitness Pal information, everything that is in here right now that I've already showed you is all that has been loaded into My Fitness Pal. Okay, guys? Um, so... Let me go ahead and blend this. And as you guys see, it's just going to kind of get frothy looking. Uh, that's why I call this a pumpkin spice latte. Alright, and that's literally all you do, guys. We're going to take this out now, and we're going to enjoy. Woo! So here's our finished product. I put a splash of cinnamon on top of mine. If you have any sucre and gold, which is like a brown sugar substitute, you can also sprinkle that on top instead of using um, cinnamon or even a sweet, you know, the normal sweetener that I normally use, this guy. Uh, the sucre and gold would be amazing as well. So this is what you guys get, a pumpkin spice latte, sands all of the carbs. <laughs> and it's got some added fat in it. So let me throw up the MyFitnessPal. Everything that is on here right now is what is in MyFitnessPal. If you add your heavy whipped cream um, to the top of it, just add that into your macros. Enjoy, everybody.